NYU rep. We, we don't get a lot of NYU anymore. Though, of course, they're probably busy with school. Yeah, plenty to do, even if you're doing summer classes. But a scholar as he is, he's still studying with this Robin, playing a, a, a tactician uh, character in canon, though can sometimes devolve into some people in spam. Depending on the matchup, and this mm -hmm. might be one of those, where you just want to keep as many, uh, whether it be projectiles or all of these 11 aerials out as much as possible. But Kavian, I know for a fact, is a much more patient Mario, more taking off of Dark Wizzy rather than... Ooh, baby! Ooh. Yeah, takes off of Dark Wizzy and also in the fact that they, uh, <laughs> they hunt for their kill combos because they know they play a rather patient neutral and can't let those chances go to waste. And it's paying dividends. Absolutely. Going to uh, a whole stock up. Only 69%. Nice on the part of uh, Kavin. Going to be trying to continually play that uh, interesting spacing game, mixing in Flood and Mario's insane air drift. But you're at the use ledge. of Cape to cover Arcfire Lil. Ooh, that's so funny. That was really caught, good. Caught, caught the 11 swords. Like, you know what? You take it. Yeah. See what you can do with it. I may be out of aerials, but I'm not out of options. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that the Nair out of shield not hitting because Mario just hits so low with that back air, and you know that's going to be such a staple part of Kavin's kit. Just a couple up airs and chasing him oh, down. I, I, I like the patience, baiting out a different option, but didn't quite get the follow up that I think uh, Kavin was wanting. Wow, Did you see how smooth that landing was off the <laughs> double jump? Yeah, almost a non impact landing, but it just gets slit right on through with the roll read, but. Rhythm is still holding on. Those books are heavy, and you're going to be surviving a whole lot longer thanks to that Nosferatu. Got, always got to keep an, an eye out for that command grab. While it's pretty slow, it is so rewarding when you get uh, when you get it to hit. You heal for, what was that, 20%? Right. I actually found it the other day. Nosferatu, uh, ooh, ooh. it's power. God, wow. What he percent was he at? He was, I think it was just past 100, but either way, he air dodged in the blast zone, which is, uh, you know, can that, that was a that was a lead Kavin had for the longest time, wow. and it just got snatched away. Oh yeah, he got it at 64. After, he died at 64 before the hit, and he gets all of that back rhythm with just able to sustain this stock around 90, uh, artificially so, twice over now, and and the sword does it all. <laughs> I'm really liking the knowledge of when like the discarded tomes and swords are being thrown around and when best to use them. Try to play with this move in plat drop. Arc fire does trade rather favorably with the flood, and at this point, Kavin can't continuously play the spacing game as much as yeah, they were early. Get away with, get away from them. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, yeah, down smash. the splash hit of Levin down smash going to catch him before he can grab the ledge. The first game of the day going to rhythm. Yeah, all over and just sheer dominance of stage. I mean, we can see it on the replay, and I think the final stop shows it best, uh, where. Like, as we get to watch this play out, like, it's only really showing... It's the only... Re yeah, we're going to, like, see just a staple arc fire kill here. But I think is most prevalent... Oh, I guess prevalent, that two-framed them, yeah. What's most prevalent is, like, here. Like, Rhythm is controlling so much space, arcing high with the with the up air to cover all of this, forcing Kavin to go to ledge or to try and be aggressive. But rising, uh, rising up air oftentimes mm -hmm. is followed by landing there, and Kavin doesn't want to challenge that on ledge, so he's forced to go to ledge and eat this ledge trap that Robin, like side B, does it all. Like right. Artfire covers so much, and choose your options carefully. As we see, the landing there did come down as he attempted to go to stage. That did two frame them, all right? Yeah, tough, 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 tough. As you were mentioning, the splash hitbox of uh, 11 down smashes. That, that's what makes it so good. Like, it's <laughs> almost, I want to say it's almost an underrated, like, down smash. I would say Robin overall is a rather underrated character. Underrated you are and underrated. You are absolutely right about that. Yeah, part of it is because they don't often start matches strong, as we're seeing. Uh, not only is Kavin able oh. to find a solid hit, it was solid hits off of the negative on hit bronze aerials, which, you know, kind of sucks. Oh, will the theme song Mario power up give Kavin the power he needs? Oh yeah, he did pick a Mario. You know, it's it's the good one. It's the it's the Odyssey one. Yeah. Oh, almost. Just a little bit late on it, and now Rhythm calls out the jump. 
Looking to try and play it as neutral as much as possible. Has sword in hand. Has to respect that. Lead. No, just going for the roll. Now we get to see how well Rhythm... I mean, we could have seen how well Rhythm could hold center stage, but Small Battlefield, it just... It offers so slightly different tool sets and then tool Puzzle sets that, like that generally favor Mario as we're seeing with that up smash not only covering the roll but you just can generally cover more space more quickly as Mario which allows you to get those openings and get those combos going which, which is, is interesting because like you would think most like zoner characters you know with once with projectiles heavily integrated into their kit they usually prefer like the biplat stages but uh, Kavin showing that I can make use of these just as well if not better than you Fair, ooh, baby. I it, felt it. That was the killing intent. Like if you jump here, you die. And if I miss, then it's no skin off my nose. It's those types of risks that you... I can reset the situation risks. and I'll do it again. Yeah, or like you, you just, you just want to play that solid game plan Whoa. as Mario. Have those opportunities. Not getting the reverse up smash, which may have hit instead. Going for Nair instead of up smash. Not looking for the kill just yet. Don't want to stale it too much. Because if you stale it too much, it starts losing oh some of its Oh my god, I thought going to do it again. <laughs> Smash is crazy. Wow, yeah, landing landing with the Nair there. It looks like Quivine is just hunting for these anti-airs. Unfortunately, putting himself on the platform there, which could net a... It's going to absolutely eat this ledge trap, but the quick roll as soon... In between when Arc Fire was uh, active. Uh, All right, 11 Sword. Him. Not going to get much off of it. Unless... The book! <laughs> the book! Saved! <laughs> Saved by resource management. You guts to love it. Oh, and went for another Didn't roll get there. Didn't it this time, but no, wow. I want to cross stage, too. 11 forward air. Those Battlefield Blast Zones are coming in clutch, and the roll read was caught with another... Did, did you notice how he quickly turned around yeah, and then did he, it? Yeah, he got that extra reach on the early hit. Super nice. Oh, my God. All right, 138 here. Like, Rhythm, you, you need, like, a landing there or something here, boss. Like, or... Uh, chain it around and start looking for back airs because Kavin has just been anti-airing and going air to air so go. unbelievably well. As soon as he sees Rhythm commit to things like a full hop fair, like exactly there, uh -huh. it's rising down air, rising up air. Something to get things going. Rising back air, though not the strong, the strong spot. Now, all things considered, like, game one, Kavin had a healthy lead too, and then Rhythm turned around with one uh, very opportune back air. Could, you know, could pull back again if he gets an early kill. Yes, but I feel like it's, oh it's my. a difference of timing in this game, too, because in game one, that lead was three stocks to two. Yeah. In game two, two stocks to one after so many, like, layered interactions have happened throughout the past two games. There's a lot more, a lot more to think about, not only on defense as rhythm, but also how Kavin was working around those same type of offensive pressure that uh, that rhythm was trying to force out. So and now we're getting these stage strikes here. I see Smashville and Kalos off the map. I've hmm. Fair. Like Smash yeah. Smashville I agree with. Kalos I'm not too certain on. Not uh, that it's a bad I don't think it's a bad stage I for either character. I think it's town, not Smashville. Is it town? Oh you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Never mind, that makes way more sense. <laughs> Yeah, just trying to ban big stages as we go right back to PSU. Can't ban all of the big stages, uh, as is uh, what makes a good rule set. Can't ban opinion. the widest stage. Yeah. I which is something not a lot of people talk about. Oh, like, it's, it, it's the PS2, as we know it in Ultimate, is the quintessential neutral starter when, you know, kind of benefits zoners a little bit more. Like, both the S and No, though, because while, I mean, you're absolutely right, does benefit zoners, it does benefit characters with reach. The side blast zones are much closer to mm -hmm. uh, to them than they are on a Kalos or an FD. Right. So you can get those meaty punishes, especially given how Mario has his fair share of kill combos all into these biplats, uh, and PS2 is no exception. True. So I can understand why you leave it open, especially given how uh, how comfortable it seemingly just everybody is, and we're seeing the ledge trap get. Oh, down throw, down smash. How about that? I, I like that. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, no stage to work with, so just take your damage. We're almost finding much, much more. These uh -oh, uppers out of shield. And they're out of here. <laughs> Dunk them. <laughs> it's just that easy. It, it's it, and zero, the longest zero to death you'll ever see. But at the end of the day, it was no damage taken. Went to, man, that did thirty. <laughs> I'd believe it. 
Just she needs it. Boom. <laughs> she does. She does. This is true. Oh, missing the grab on that air dodge. That could have been uh, even more of a meaty punish than before. But Rhythm needs to not just not really trying to pressure a lot of these situations as before. Playing super reactionary, a ton of jump back and dash back uh, opportunities. But at a deficit like this, Quivine is looking oh mighty my God. solid when it comes to just Wanted applying the pressure he wants. Look at them just holding in anyway. It's like, I'm going to force these scrambles and you're going to have to deal with it. And right now, like... They're applying pressure with fireballs pretty handily, just like, I'm not letting you get too close, but I'm also minding arranged options. And I have to stock up so I don't need to commit to anything. That said, that was spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I missed the grab, and so we're just gonna fall. I'm, I'm gonna bit. do it again! <laughs> we're just, we're here about it, buddy. <laughs> Looking for more full hop areas, I like that short hop back. Rhythm needs to really hold steady and keep closer to the ground here. Kavina is doing a whole lot of call-outs, almost with that forward smash. Needs to be so careful. There we go. Yeah, that backer comes in super strong. He's got at least a couple more 11 arrows Did in. you see the weight on that one? A little Kaveen, shimmy. Kaveen was right. Do it. Do it. You won't. Do it. You won't. Oh, you didn't. Smart. Good job. You counter you counterfoid me effectively. You passed test number one. Will you survive the next? And here's the next. What you got? What you got? You get, all right. Oh, there it is. Yeah. And this is the position that Rhythm was doing so well at in game one, where they were constantly hovering with a solid amount of rage, but able to find these Nosferatus that keep their percentage in check and keep Kaveen having to almost resetting back one neutral interaction. It's like, you won neutral? No, you didn't. We're back to the same position. And look at the damage right now with plenty of rage and plenty of potential combos on deck. I think Kaveen, yeah, Kaveen now knows, like, one wrong move, I could actually die here. So let's uh, oh, yeah. play it cool a little bit. Don't fish for anything. Uh, you probably should. Oh, Lord. That could have been a huge, that could have been a back air for sure. I'm not sure if it would have killed across stage, but it would have been massive. With, and I, with this amount of rate. Oh, there yeah. we go. That, Caught you jumping. Jump is frame three. Everyone loves to jump, unless you're Kazuya. You. Then you don't really feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, oh, my God. 9% charging on. He has an arc fire on the line. Oh, man, these up air is going to okay. get down throw. grab. You're and dead. you're out of here! You're just dead. You're like, up air, nair grab, up air, falling up air fair. Just the GGs, staple. shake my hand, we did it. Some might call it basic, but it's the tried and true for a reason. The set going to Kaveen. And it, in this combo right here. like That oh, was out of shield up air too. Oh yeah. It's quick as hell. Boom! Just... And we'll see it again at the last talk. But being able, it's it's almost boring to watch, as you were mentioning. It's bread and butter, effectively, like up air falling, up air fair. Mm -hmm. But it's what keeps Mario almost, I don't want to use the term relevant, but relevant, I feel like, is the right word. No, no, you're, I know what you mean. And that's not a bad word to use, I'd say. Because, like, with, without that, what do you have in a game against, like, you know, giant swords, transforming characters? Electric yeah. Wind God Fist. Now Blocks, it, among it, other things. <laughs> yeah, you have so much ridiculousness, so you kind of need that X Factor, or else Mario would almost turn into an Inkling clone, where you just spam back air for eight minutes. And, like, people were kind of gloom and doom, because I don't know.